what's going on guys? My name is Yoda and welcome back today to the final part of the top 49 operators within Rainbow Six Siege as we are going to be going into the top 10 operators within Rainbow Six Siege as of Phantom Sight. So, uh, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Uh, I am going to have this intro be kind of short, uh, but I was planning the entire series since February of 2018 and as i am recording this it is september 23rd 2019 and i am beyond happy with the results that uh, this series has gotten and i'm glad that you guys have enjoyed it if you guys have any recommendations for a future series maybe map suggestions uh favorite maps in bomb best maps in ranked uh underrated operators operator tips things like that please let me know um but without further ado if you guys do happen to like the video please do subscribe it very much uh helps me out and well not really but uh it's nice to see you guys are enjoying the content and uh hope you guys do enjoy this video if we go straight into the top 10 operators of rainbow six in at number 10 is Blitz. Blitz is one of the most toxic operators in Rainbow Six Siege, in my opinion. As of the new update, Ember Rise, I don't think he's as toxic as he once was since they decreased his uh, ADS time. But, as a Phantom Sight, he was kind of annoying and uh, he was that kind of operator that I hated. And I still hate to go against him, don't get me wrong, because he just rushes at you and blinds you. But, it's super annoying and uh, it is very tactical. It is very effective in a rush. If you can get Blitz, go Heavy, Lion, Ash, uh, Finca, Sausage, just something like that. It very much does work and uh, it is a very good tactic within Rainbow Six Siege and that is why I put Blitz in at number 10. In at number 9 is Ash. Ash uh, is a very good operator as Pretty much everyone should know. Um, Ash is one of those operators that has great loadout with the R4C and the G36. And both assault rifles are really, really good. In my opinion, I like the R4C more, but the G36 is probably just as good. The only difference is the G36 can have the ACOG and the R4C cannot. I'm pretty sure that the R4C does a little bit more damage, but the recoil is kind of insane with it. Um, although, in my opinion, I think removing the ACOG from the R4C was very effective and added Ash. It was kind of a little buff instead of a nerf, allowing Ash to Ash players to control the recoil a little bit better. It just made her that much better, and I feel that that is why she should be at number nine and at this position because she is super, super helpful. And uh, obviously, her ability isn't like the most helpful thing, but. She is a great operator, and you know, you have the toxic Ash and Jaeger mains, and Ash is part of that. So that is why I put Ash in at number eight. In at number eight is Twitch. Twitch is honestly has always been one of my favorite operators. And with Twitch, uh, her shock drones are super important to me, and they are really, really good. Um, you can destroy so much stuff, you can destroy Jaeger ADSs, you can uh, destroy mute jammers, destroy bandit uh, bandit charges, you can destroy the mirrors, you can destroy the cades, you can basically, if you get the idea, you can even disable like cameras, you can um, get rid of the evil eye, uh, bulletproof cameras, it's very effective and it makes Twitch very good. She's got the F2 and the marksman rifle that I can't think of the name right now, but um, she is a very good overall operator and uh, very useful as well. It can very much help a team that doesn't have that Thatcher with the Thatcher ban. Twitch can take over and it just makes her super, super useful. And that is why I think uh, Twitch is in at number eight. In at number seven is Doc. Doc, the doctor, basically the only doctor within Rainbow Six Siege, um, the only healer other than Finca, but Doc is more, much more effective, and uh, Doc is a very useful operator. He's got the MP5 and the P90. MP5, in my opinion, is so much better. Both can have ACOG, which is great. Uh, Doc, uh, that stim pistol is super, super important. It can help your roamers when your ho roamers get damaged, even your anchors, uh, but more so for your roamers when they come back into objective needing health, uh, or even picking yourself up and kind of, you know, getting yourself up. Uh, and 
in my opinion, I think Doc is really, really useful and really, really good uh, when it comes to this game. And uh, I do have his Elite. He's one of those operators that I just think is super good and with the MP5 and being able to heal and like even picking people up instead of picking them up to 20 how it is, you can pick them up to 75. And it's just so much better. Uh, so that's why I kind of put Doc in at number 7. In at number 6 is Thatcher, Mr. EMP Boy. I think this guy is very underrated and uh, I think he is very good when it comes to ranked um, and casual obviously you're not really you don't really care too much but Thatcher is one of those operators that you kind of need to have every round uh, when you need to breach something and when you need that thermite when you need that Habana you want to pair him up with a Thatcher and Thatcher he's in my opinion I, I think he's got a great loadout um, both ARs are great and um, honestly Thatcher is great you know you can disable uh, a, a bunch of electronic devices you can get rid of the mute jammers the bandit charges the cades uh, electro claws um, it's just those things that are super useful and Thatcher is very much a necessity when it comes to ranked uh, when you pair them up with that thermite and habana it gives your team such a big advantage and it gives them that advantage that you can kind of open up another way to get into the objective and another way to kind of uh, pinch them in a way. You can kind of pinch, you know, obviously, um, but it's why I think Thatcher is super useful and I do think he is really underrated. So that is why Thatcher is in at number six. And at number five is Echo. Echo uh, is honestly, in, one, in my opinion, one of the most toxic operators um, on defense. And the reason because of that is obviously the Yokai drones. The Yokai drones are super, super, super annoying. But as a defender, they can be very useful. They can stop a plant, which I know that there are a lot of echoes that just, you know, zap as soon as they start defusing. Don't do that. It's a second, second, seven second defuse. You can waste seven seconds of their time just by letting them defuse for a bit and then using that echo and making them plant again or search for the echo and or the yokai. But um, honestly, echo, in my opinion, is, I think it's a... I want to say it's an SMG is okay. It's not the best in my opinion. It's kind of suppressed, so it's it's all right. Um, it is good though. It's got ACOG, um, and obviously not as good as the MP5, but it is still good and still valuable. But uh, in my opinion, Echo is one of those operators that are very good and very good on bomb. So and with bomb now being the only mode in ranked, he is super super useful. So that is why I put Echo in at number five. In at number four is Thermite, our first hard breacher on my entire top 49 list. But with Thermite, um, he is super useful, obviously, because he is a hard breacher and is able to create such a giant hole. And with that hole, um, it gives your team the advantage getting those, uh, those reinforced walls out of your way and being able to push into the objective it can give you the ability to plant, especially if the objective is a garage, like chalet, for example, or border. It's not necessarily a garage, but you can plant on the side of armory lockers and get that plant down and watch from the outside, which is super useful and super handy. And it gives your team such a big advantage. And with Thermite, obviously you want to pair that Thatcher, as I said earlier, but um, if you can't get Thatcher, Twitch is always a great choice. And I just think Thermite, his loadout is great. I don't really know who would use the shotgun, but when you got that AR. But Thermite is a great operator overall, and I do think that he is one of the most useful in Rainbow Six Siege. So that is why I put Thermite in at number four. In at number three is Bandito Dorito, Bandito Burrito, whatever you want to call him, and Bandit is one of those operators that I think is one of the best defenders within Rainbow Six Siege and is a necessity. Um, obviously, Bandit can be switched out with a Mute or Cade, but it's all kind of the same difference. I just think Bandit has the loadout. And uh, Bandit is great. He is one of those operators that's super useful to stop a Thermite, a Habana, a not necessarily a Twitch, but uh, basically stop the hard breachers and it is super useful if you don't have a maverick you can't really stop the bandit unless you have that faster switch obviously but um 
Bandit, super good. Um, he stops the offensive team from pushing into the objective. If you have a great Bandit character, honestly, let them be Bandit. Don't even challenge them. Bandit tricking is one of the most best things in that you can have. And I personally suck with it. I don't have the best headset or ears in my opinion, but... Um, yeah, it's super handy, and his loadout with the MP7 is super good, and uh, it's just one of those things that it's amazing. The M870 is even good, but uh, who, like, you know, why shotgun on defense when he is, you can roam with Bandit too. So, uh, that is why I put Bandit in at number three. In at number two is Hibana! Now, Hibana is one of those operators that is super good. Once again, this is our hard breacher, our main hard breacher. In my opinion, I think Hibana is better than Thermite because she can do it from a distance and be more safe instead of, say, uh, border on armory lockers again where you have that run out or you have somebody that can get you, get you while you're putting up that Thermite. Now, with Habana having that advantage, you can be very back and be safe on yourself, and it's very useful. Both her weapons are very great for her, for her su supernova, and uh, I can't remember her AR. Um, that's embarrassing, but it is very good. Um, Habana, great operator overall, and I do think that she she is obviously a three speed. It is very useful, and having that hard breaching ability at a distance is very useful to your team and it will potentially give you the benefit of a doubt rather than a thermite um and obviously if you have somebody bandit tricking they can't bandit trick both walls with habana just put one in the middle and you're you're good to go you know obviously half of it is going to get destroyed but the other half is going to be perfectly fine so um that is why habana is in at number two now, to wrap things up for this series, the number one operator within Rainbow Six Siege is Legion. Legion, uh, in my opinion, is obviously, well, I put him in number one, is the best operator within Rainbow Six Siege, and here's why. I think his boom mines are super useful, and they're very much underrated. I think that... Uh, you know, you can stop a rush, you can stop a late push, you can, it's that thing that it can eat at people's health uh, if they don't take it out. Late game, you don't want to focus on taking out a legion if you don't have to. And it's just that thing that is super useful and a lot of people don't think about it when they're low on health. Yes, there are some people that think about it, but if you have to make a late push, you just have to go for it. You can't, uh, you gotta YOLO it and eat yourself into the objective but if you have that legion to stop you it's just that thing that is very good and legion is honestly the best operator within this game and i his loadout is amazing uh obviously he's got that suppressed shotgun which uh i think is underrated i think it's really good um his smg is golden i think it's really really good uh Although sometimes I can't use it, but it still is really good. He's one of my favorites. I do have his elite, and um, Legion is where he belongs to be in at number. All right, hope you guys did enjoy this series of the top 49 operators within Rainbow Six Siege, wrapping up today with the top 10. This series I have had planned since February of 2018, as I said in the beginning of the video. I have always wanted to do a series like this, and I thought that it'd be super interesting. Obviously, if I would have done it then, uh, I wouldn't have had to put so much work into it since there were so much less operators in the game. Um, obviously, Goyo and Amaru were not a part of this series, but that's because I started this series weeks before Ember Rise came out. And that is kind of unfortunate that right now, when the top 10 operators come out, it is not technically updated. But I know you guys are going to have a difference of opinion with the top 10 operators that I have set from, uh, and it, you know, everybody's opinion is different. I do respect your opinion and I, this is just what I think. Uh, my buddy Drew and I, we were kind of, uh, doing this final top 10 and originally my top 10 is not what went live and I changed things up. He made his own and it's just this is kind of the final product and if you guys did happen to enjoy this entire series 
uh, please do consider liking and subscribing. It would be much appreciated, and I'd love to hit a thousand at some point. Um, <laughs> at some point, I don't think I'm gonna get there anytime soon. But we are on the climb, and thank you so much for 500 subscribers. Still can't believe that I'm there. Um, I cannot thank you guys enough, and I hope you guys did enjoy this series of the top 49 operators of Rainbow Six Siege. Now, that's going to be it for me. If you guys do want to see stuff like this, please do comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. My name is Yoda. Peace.